Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will talk about the new event that's going on, the seasonal event for this season in Season of the Hunt, the Wrathborn. If you like this video, if you find value out of it, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So this is the new seasonal event, similar to if we think about a season ago, we had the Undying, we had the events surrounded about that, which were pretty underwhelming. So how did Bungie do this time? Well, let's talk about it. To begin with, when you first get into the game, there's gonna be a quest of the moon. So first off, you're going to rescue Osiris on the moon. As you're going through the process, obviously Osiris doesn't have his ghost, so it's, it's pretty critical. You're trying to save him because he's been led into a trap. You work through the mission, and then you're introduced to Crow, which is obviously Aldrin Sav, who's been resurrected. So you do this mission, you'll also talk to uh, Glint, who is the ghost for Crow, and you'll be introduced to him as well. Once you're complete with the mission, you will then go down to the Tangled Shore and talk to Spider. You'll have a quick discussion with both the Crow and Spider, which will then eventually evolve into just a discussion with Spider. Spider obviously is Spider, and I won't get into all of it, but obviously he has Crow kind of under his thumb. You'll have to work through him during these quests. Crow is actually in a new area right off of from where the Spider is. It's kind of cool. It's in the same area, and he has a number of things to offer to you. You'll notice as with any event, you earn reputation, and through that reputation, then you earn Ingrams. Those Ingrams then l lead to armor and weapon rewards for the season. Again, very very standard for Bungie season. The key to this is things that are called lures. And again, think of lure like a, a lure that's used in fishing or something like that. These are actually lures that you're using to track down and lure in the creatures that you're trying to hunt. So you actually get one of these and you have to power it up. Probably the quickest way, because you could do a powering up in that initial one through Gambit Strikes or Crucible. Mayhem's this week. I would go to Mayhem. Mayhem matches last no more than five minutes. You do one or two of those, you're golden, you get your lure powered up. You go back to the Tangled Shore, and then you do your first hunt. Now, the hunt is very different from some of the other seasonal events that we've done in the past. You go to the initial location, and you defeat some ads. It's pretty simple, pretty standard. Then it's going to ask you to track them, and what you'll notice is there's like a trail of green goo that goes to a different place on the Tangled Shore. Go to that, and then that will actually place you into an instance mission. Now, the cool thing, the first mission you're doing, it's kind of like a public event. Anyone can kind of, you know, contribute. But when you get the instance mission, you're by yourself. It's respawning restricted, so if you die, you die. You do come back in, so it's not like you're kicked out to orbit or something like that. Um, and it's very similar in feel to a nightmare hunt with the ads and things like that. It's restricted to one room. You do have a rally flag, so you can get your super and your weapons kind of powered up. So that's really cool. The initial one is not that hard. It's basically a series of servitors. You kill the servitors. You stand in some green goo. Because of that, then you can damage the shield for the boss. Once the shield is down, then you can take them out. It's kind of pretty standard stuff. Um, it's very similar to Nightmare Hunt in that the with the Servitor, there's also some adds, some shanks that are solar. So obviously, you can take a solar weapon in there. Again, because you can do Rally the Flag and things like that, you have the opportunity before you start it to actually get the weapons that you want up. So again, it's pretty interesting. Obviously, over time, there are going to be more difficult versions of this, and Crow even hints to that as you go back and talk to him. So let's talk about the systems and the rewards that you can get through this. So first off, the lures themselves are pretty standard. Again, you power them up through doing other activities, right? They're, Bungie's always going to make you do those sort of things. Then you can actually get upgrades to them, and these upgrades come depending on what your seasonal rank is. So obviously not your seasonal pass, but your seasonal rank within that activity, right? That you get as you turn in bounties and things like that, or recon data. We'll talk about that more in a minute. So the upgrades are kind of cool stuff. So one thing you can upgrade, you can actually activate other hunts. I think there's a hive hunt that you can do in the future. Um, you can increase the rewards. So, you know, you, for the weeklies and things like that, you can actually go from powerful, you can have more powerful rewards. You can actually go to pinnacle rewards for the weekly. So kind of cool, want to do that as quickly as possible, especially if you're trying to, you know, get powered up for the raid this weekend. You also get the ability to increase how much recon data you can get. Again, this is you, you saw some of this on your seasonal pass, uh, increasing your your reputation with Crow. But you can also, with this upgrade, even increase that with doing other activities. And then there's additional mods you can pick up. Don't have a lot of details yet on the mods, but I'm sure as we go through the following days and weeks, we'll find out more about them. The current mods that you have, again, these mods allow you to do different types of rewards. You can get better armor. You can get armor or weapons that exclude certain perks. Not sure how that works yet, but it sounds interesting. You can get really high stat armor. So not just better armor, but high stat armor. And obviously, like any other Bungie event, 
you're going to have weekly and daily bounties which give you additional uh, reputation rank ups which again the reputation rank up is what lets you get the better mods the better mods allow you to get better rewards right it's pretty standard fare my assumption is as the event goes on it will evolve and there'll be additional things brought in over the season but we'll see as far as what how the event is and, and if it's good or not let's compare this when shadow keep came out so so far I feel like this this DLC is bigger than Shadowkeep, better than Shadowkeep so far. We'll, we'll wait and see what happens. But the other thing is, with this event so far, even the beginning, with the story, the lore, um, just the actual play of what I was playing versus what was in the Season of Dying, it's an upgrade. So I think Bungie is making an improvement with this seasonal process as far as this first season after Beyond Light comes out. We'll see what they do through the rest of the year. That's basically the event. Again, pretty standard fare. We'll see how it, it kind of develops over time. That's the video. I really appreciate your guys' time in watching this. If you have any comments or like get in the community, feel free to subscribe to my channel. That's the easiest way. Like the video if it provides value to you. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the tower.